What's up YouTube and I'm back with another video and this is actually a video I've been meaning to do for months. I just never got to it. I don't know why. I don't, I just never did. So now it's time to do it. So as some of you may know I've been to the Philippines which means I have a layover in Japan when I when I go over which means I st was in Tokyo's airport for couple hours which gave me time to walk around and see what's available in Tokyo's airport um, and one thing I've always wanted to do was pick up international flavor Kit Kat uh, this is literally what I got left I had an orange one it was really good um, I gave some of these to my friends too but these are the three flavors that you will probably you'll easily find um, I don't think any of these are seasonal these are all available whenever so if you're ever in uh, Naruto's airport all right that's Airport, you can in Tokyo. You can probably grab these. Actually, the 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 store I got these from accepts a uh, USD. They do all the conversions. They give you your change in uh, Japanese yen, but they do all the conversions and you pay in USD, which is great. Um, it's great when you don't when you aren't spending much time in the country because you don't have to go and convert money. You know all that fun stuff. So uh, this was right the. Convenience stores like right near the terminals if you're you're departing terminals. Um so if you're ever in that area, definitely go check out this convenience store. I can't remember the name of it, but you'll see it. They have like candy just they have a huge Kit Kat display, like right at the front. Um bunch of different flavors of Kit Kats and other candies and snacks. There was a bunch of stuff. I grabbed some green tea chocolates, but I'm not allowed to eat anymore until the fiance comes over because she told me I need to save some for her. Oops. Well, there's still some left. I'm not allowed to eat anymore. They're really good. They are really good. They come in a little green box. I don't know if I still have the box. I don't think I do. I think I threw the box away. I try to keep a lot of the boxes and stuff. I still got the Kit Kat boxes. They're actually over there in the corner. I don't think I have the box from the. Uh, I don't see it. Oh well. I try to keep this little green box. It was like green tea, green tea chocolates. They were delicious, and I wish I bought more of them. I wish I bought a lot more of them. They were so amazing. Um, but that's not what we're here. We're here to try three flavors of Kit Kats today. First flavor we're going to try is a popular flavor. These you will find at any convenience store. You can actually find them in the States locally. They cost a little more in the States, but you can find them in literally any convenience store in Tokyo Airport. These are the green tea Kit Kats. This is what the packaging wrapper looks like for the green tea Kit Kats. And this is the back. All in Japan, all in Japanese. Not gonna be able to read it. This is green tea Kit Kats. You'll find those in bags, boxes, whatever size green tea. I got a bag of these, and I, these were my favorite flavor. Um, they're an amazing flavor. Another good flavor that I recommend is the rum raisin. This is a actually a really good rate, really good flavor. Rum raisin. I highly recommend it. If you see it, pick one up. Rum raisin, amazing. Another flavor that I've grabbed when I was over there is wasabi. This one scared me. But I tried it and I will try it actually on camera for you and give you a full opinion on it. So Well we'll start with the green tea first because the green tea is a nice mellow flavor. I'll show you what the Kit Kat looks like and you'll be able to see what these are. So the green tea Kit Kats are obviously green. They're green Kit Kats. So this is by far the most popular, probably the one most international flavor you're going to find. And it's a nice, mellow, Swedish green tea flavor. That's what it looks like inside. Maybe like a hint of like tea spice. Like this way, green tea spice. Um, Nothing over exorbitant, nothing that's going to make you go, uh, I definitely recommend getting the green tea when, if you're over in Japan, or if you're ever, I got green in my hand, if you ever see these in the store and they're reasonably priced or clearanced out, I've seen them at bookstores, I've seen them at comic stores, a lot of places that import stuff carry green tea Kit Kats. Like I said, it's the most common international flavor. I, for one, highly recommend the green tea Kit Kats. It's a nice, mellow, not overly sweet flavor. 
a little bit, like I said, green, a little bit of green tea spice in the back, and a little bit on you feel on the tongue. I love the green tea kick guys. I if I was going back, I'd buy more. The next flavor we're gonna try is the rum raisin. Now, this one I was curious about. I was like, I love rum. Anybody that knows me knows I am a rum drinker to a T. I will try any rum at least once, and usually that's all I keep around and drink when I am out is rum. Rum and whiskey bourbon. So anyone that knows me knows I'm a rum drinker. So rum raisin is a white Kit Kat. This one caught me pleasantly by surprise. So most of the time you know you get one flavor you're used to and then you go and try something artificially flavored or something like that. It tastes totally different. So if you just like, it tastes raisiny. But it has this, like, it's like you, you stare. And if you just get like the top layer of the chocolate in your mouth, you get raisin. But as soon as you bite into it, you get this deliciously rum flavor. It's kind of sweet, but you get a combination with raisin. So it definitely tastes like rum and raisin. I, I don't know how else to explain this. It tastes like rum and tastes like raisin. All it's missing is the alcohol. So, another flavor. If you like the flavor of rum, like the flavor of raisins, Definitely check out the rum raisin. I know it's upside down because that's how I opened it, but it's that way it's the other pieces in the pouch. Um, definitely check out rum raisin, an amazing flavor. Um, what you're looking for on the rum raisin is a glass of rum with some raisins behind it. Rum raisin. Yeah, green tea didn't have anything. So, oh, I love that. I wish I bought more of those. I haven't had one in a while. I kind of put them off for a few months because I was eating them quickly. I was like, I didn't do a video on these. I want to share my experiences with you guys. I regret not buying more. The green tea is probably my favorite, but my God, I could eat the rum raisin all day. It's such a good flavor for me. For me personally, it's a really good flavor. I love it. I'm Like I said, I'm obsessed with it. I need to get more. Um... I get when I start processing stuff for the fiance to come over, which we're in process of. I'm gonna take a picture of these and tell her she's gonna go buy me like five things of these and bring them over. Oh, it's such a good flavor. The last flavor we're gonna try today is the wasabi. Now, most people said wasabi, this has gotta be hot. And surprisingly, it wasn't. But it is a much different flavor. It's the back of the packaging and gonna read it. Most people know what the wasabi is being extremely hot, and when you buy it, when you buy it, if you're in a hot thing, spicy thing, stuff like that, you would probably like wasabi when you go out and eat it. But the Kit Kat is a candy. You gotta kinda keep that in mind. It's still a Nestle candy. It, it's not like, ooh, Japanese are weird, Japanese are gonna make this make some hot type of candy. Um, no, it's still a Nestle product. So the wasabi is like a light shade of green, like yellowish green. And this is definitely a different flavor. It smells different. It doesn't have much taste until you actually bite into it. Then the taste becomes weird. Taste becomes. I don't know what the cat looks like. The taste becomes beanie. I mean, that's really the best way to put it. It becomes beanie. It becomes pasty. It becomes. It's not hot at all. But it becomes like almost you took a plant and smashed it up and mixed it again and then cooked something with it. A bread or something. And you just like kind of like melt in your mouth and you got like that bean paste taste. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's like bean paste. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, it's an acquired taste. It's not bad. It's not good. It's it's one of those flavors that you buy usually probably to play tricks on your friends. You want to prank your friends, you buy wasabi Kit Kat. 
and you get a wasabi kick for your friends. Um, so they can freak out about it, and then again, like, oh, that wasn't as big of a deal as I thought it was going to be. That's why I bought them originally. I was like, I actually like them. I gave them to a few friends. Like, they were cringing before they even opened it, and then they ate it. They're like, that's odd. Like, it's an odd flavor. It It's not hot, which you expect. It's not ho absolutely horrible, like you expected. It's just odd. It's an odd flavor. Buy these. If you're ever in, over there, if you ever see them, buy them. The wasabi kickheads are different. They're definitely worth a try. Um, you can get them in a little box that gets like eight of them or something in them. Buy the wasabi kickheads. I highly recommend them. They're different. You're only going to get to try them every once in a while. You know, it's not something like any of these flavor kickheads that I showed you. If you ever over there, buy them, bring them into the States. Enjoy them. I like them. I kind of I kind of like different flavors. Um, I was hoping some of the other flavors would have been available. They weren't. Um, but yeah. So, that's my opinion of green tea. Rum raisin. And wasabi. Like I said, I had an orange dreamsicle kind of flavored one. It was really good. But I have to save it for the fiance when she comes up with green tea chocolates. I bought one of those over there. I've been devouring domes. I have to say what the couple I've left for the a fiance when she comes over. I told her I would, so you know I gotta keep gotta be a man of my promise. Gotta save these things for her. Um, and I've got nothing else. That's Japanese Kit Kats. My tasting of Japanese Kit Kats. I don't know when I'm gonna go back to actually buy more of these. Um, I've seen the green tea ones in stores. They're extremely expensive. Um, they're on Amazon. They're costly. Um, I think you can get all these on Amazon if you actually look. They're costly. And there may be another one. So if you guys actually know another way to get some, some of these foreign flavored Kit Kats, like Japanese flavored Kit Kats or Japanese candies in general, especially green tea stuff. Oh, green tea stuff's amazing. Post a link below because I would love to go find some at a reasonable price. Um, shipping is shipping. I don't really care. Um, they offer free shipping, they offer low shipping, they offer regular shipping, whatever. Um, they don't send me to some place that, like, some people do, like, on eBay. And, well, that was weird. I was talking about that. What? They charge, like, $100 in shipping, and they end up charging you a dollar for the item. So, you know, that's kind of not where I draw, <laughs> kind of where I draw my line. Shipping's ridiculous. Or the item's ridiculous. But, you know, if you know these places that you can get them, and reasonably priced, go ahead and post the link below. If it's free shipping, paid shipping... Um, I figure probably about nine ninety nine to fifteen dollars, probably the maximum of the shipping based upon how much you order. Um, uh, I'm saying um a lot because I kind of want more, <laughs> so I got one bar of each left in these packets, which I'm sure I'll eat tonight. But that was Japanese Kit Kats, so I hope you guys enjoyed my opinion and my review of three flavors of Japanese Kit Kats. I highly recommend you go and try each and every one of them. If you're over there, buy the Kit Kats you see. Definitely give them a try. Um, you never know which one you may like. I thought this was going to be the fakest flavor I ever had. This became this was easily one of my favorite. This flavor wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Wasabi didn't think it was going to be as bad. Green tea, I love green tea in general, so I figured the green tea would be something sugary, but green tea-ish. Which is kind of what I got. So... That's it. That's Kit Kats from Japan. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next time. Take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.